اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ویریبلس دیر آر ڈفرینٹ ٹائپس آف ویریبل دیر از انڈیپینڈنٹ ویریبل دیر از ڈیپینڈنٹ ویریبل میڈیٹنگ ویریبل اینڈ دین دیر آر ماڈریٹنگ ویریبلس نارملی دیز ایکچولی میک اپ آور کانسیپچوئل فریم ورک نو واٹ از این انڈیپینڈنٹ ویریبل اے ویریبل دیٹ کازز این انفلوئنس اے ویریبل دیٹ میکس این انفلوئنس اے ویریبل دیٹ انفلوئنسز این ادر ویریبل اے ویریبل دیٹ influences another variable don't mind my writing so what is dependent variable that is a variable that is being influenced now before we go on and discuss a mediating and moderating variable let's clearly differentiate between independent and dependent variable let's say i've got this variable here let's say i've got a variable organizational performance now this variable here is being influenced by another variable let's say servant leadership now in this case this variable here servant leadership is my independent variable and this variable here is my dependent variable that is my dv why is this a dependent variable and why is this an independent variable because this variable in this particular scenario is being influenced and which variable is influencing this variable servant leadership so the variable being influenced is your dependent variable that is also referred to as a criterion variable or you already know it it's called dependent variable or your outcome variable now this here is your independent variable it's also referred to as your predictor or the cause but we normally refer to it as cause only in experimental research when you can call it cause and this one can be referred to as effect and in experimental research since you can change the cause the effect may change but normally it's referred to as independent variable one that causes an influence and the one that is being influenced is your dependent variable now at times the relationship between an iv and dv has other variables in between those variables can be mediators or moderators now it can be called a mediating variable or a mediator it can also be called a moderating variable or a moderator these two variables fall between the iv and dv but their function and what they do and their nature is completely different let's see how they are different now we had servant leadership that was influencing organizational performance now this was your dv and this was your iv so what is a mediating variable a mediating variable also referred to as an intervening variable one that intervenes between this relationship here now how does this variable intervenes between the relationship the role of mediating variable is to explain the mechanism of impact of iv on dv this is what we have discussed in previous session as well 
For example, we normally say that servant leadership affects organizational performance. But this effect is not that simple. This effect here is intervened by other variables that help in explaining the mechanism of impact as to how servant leadership influences organizational performance. So where do you get these mediating variables? There are existing research that may have recommended that there could be other variables that could intervene in this relationship and can help you explain how servant leadership influences organizational performance. Furthermore, while you are reading literature, you might come up with your own ideas. For example, in this case, let's say we've got an example, let's say servant leadership. What happens is, if there is servant leadership in organization, it helps improve the employee performance. And once there is improved employee performance, there is improved organizational performance. Now, the impact of servant leadership on organizational performance, this is the mechanism of impact. Now, what you do is, this is your mediating variable. And this mediation analysis will help you establish this mechanism of impact. Whether the impact of servant leadership on organizational performance is direct or indirect. And mediation will further clarify that there is an indirect effect and how servant leadership influences organizational performance. There could be many other examples as well. I've got a variable, let's say servant leadership again, and that influences organizational performance. Now this relationship here, there could be other mediators as well. Let's say if there is servant leadership within the organization, this helps boost identity within the organization. And once there is identity, there is self-esteem. And once there is self-esteem, there is job performance, and then there is better organizational performance. Now these are altogether different mediators. Now this was one mediator, now you have multiple mediators. So you can have multiple pathways of how an IV influences a DV. What happens is your X variable, that is your IV, may influence another variable, let's say M1, mediation one, or mediating variable one. Then this M1 may influence another variable mediator two. That may influence another variable mediator three, and that may lead to organizational performance. Now this is serial mediation. There is another form of mediation that is called parallel mediation, whereby you've got multiple pathways leading from IV to your DV. Let me give you an example. Let's assume I've got a variable servant leadership, again, influencing organizational performance. Now this servant leadership may influence identity, that may influence organizational performance. This servant leadership may influence self-esteem, that may influence organizational performance. This may influence efficacy, that may influence organizational performance, and this may influence employee performance, and that may influence organizational performance. Now you've got multiple pathways. Now each of this pathway can help you explain how servant leadership influences organizational performance. And you may link these mediators as well. So the crux is that your mediating variable, these are your mediators, they will help you explain the impact of IV on your DV. Now finally, let's come to moderating variable. Moderating variable. As explained earlier in the earlier video as well, the moderator modifies it either strengthens, weakens, or altogether changes the relationship between two variables. Now let's assume we've got this variable servant leadership here, influencing organizational performance. Now we've got a moderator role ambiguity. Now this role ambiguity will weaken this positive relationship. Now when we are reading the literature, we come to know that servant leadership helps improve organizational performance. But this positive relationship may be weakened if there is role ambiguity within the organization. So the positive relationship between servant leadership and organizational performance is weakened by role ambiguity. Your moderator is a third variable that modifies, that is, it either strengthens, weakens, or altogether changes the existing relationship. Now let me give you another example. 
let's say I've got a variable servant leadership again that is influencing organizational performance. Now let's say so I've got another variable CSR. Now this variable here CSR will strengthen this relationship. The relationship between servant leadership and organizational performance will be strengthened in when the organization has corporate social responsibility initiatives. So corporate social responsibility initiatives will moderate the relationship between servant leadership and organizational performance such that improved corporate social responsibility initiatives within the organization will strengthen the impact of servant leadership on organizational performance. Now let's say how do you put all these types of variables in one single model? Let me give you another example for it. Let's assume I've got this model here, servant leadership that influences organizational performance. The relationship is moderated by CSR. And I've got two mediators, that is one is identity and the other is, let's say, job performance. Now in this case, these two are my mediators. This is my IV, this is my DV, and this is my moderator. Now what about my hypothesis? So you can have your H1 like this one here, and you can say your H1 is, let's say, let me quickly write one, there is a significantly positive impact of servant leadership on organizational performance. Well, it's better you write the full forms. Now this is your H1. So what about this? Let's say you can have this one as H2, this one here as H3. So this is the direct relationship. So you can say servant leadership or there is a significantly positive impact of servant leadership on organizational performance. But what about mediating hypothesis or mediation hypothesis? So you can, let's say, you can call it H4 and you can say identity mediates the relationship between servant leadership and OP. And similarly, you can have a mediation hypothesis for JP as well. And finally, what about CSR? Let's say you call it H4. Let's say this one is H5. Let's say this is H6. This is H7. This is H8. And this moderating role is H9. So let's say your H9 would be CSR moderates the relationship between servant leadership and OP. Now it's very important that you write how it moderates such that higher CSR initiatives strengthen the positive relationship between servant leadership and OP. Now the moderator is strengthening the positive relationship between servant leadership and organizational performance. Now this was all about how you differentiate between different variables in a model and how you can propose your hypothesis. I hope my writing is not that difficult to understand and the session would have helped you understand the basic concept of variables and how you propose different hypotheses. Thank you very much.